everybody. It's me, Miss Margie. I miss you all. I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to share one of my favorite stories with you. It's called The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissor. This book was written by Drew Daywalt. You might know him because he wrote The Day the Crayons Quit. It's illustrated by Adam Rex. And today I get to read it with special permission from the publisher, Balzar and Bray. Let's go. Long ago, in an ancient and distant realm called the kingdom of backyard. There lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Rock traveled to the mysterious forest of over by the tire swing, where he met a warrior who hung on a rope, holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man. I will pinch you and make you cry, rock warrior. Rock versus clothespin. Rock is victorious. Even though he had won, rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mystical tower of grandma's favorite apricot tree. There he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let the battle begin. Rock versus apricot. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. Rock is victorious. Oh, I am smushed. And yet smushing you has brought me no joy. Are you not entertained? They were entertained, but the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of backyard, still in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the empire of mom's home office, on lonely and windswept desk mountain, a second great warrior sought glory in battle, and his name was Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match. There he met a large and square monster. I gobble up the likes of you and spit them out every day, little paper. Oh, then taste my fury, giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer. No, not a paper jam. Paper is victorious. Having beaten the fiercest fighter on Desk Mountain, Paper climbed to the pit of office trash bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land, the half-eaten bag of trail mix. Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix. Oh, foul wizard, he's blotted out the sun. Run for your lives, laddies! Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? And so, with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of Mom's home office. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Junk Drawer, there lived a third great warrior. They called her Scissors and she was the fastest blade in the land. She too was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let's do battle, you tacky and vaguely round monstrosity. I will battle you and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling powers. Scissors versus tape. Scissors is victorious. Scissors, scissors forged on across the kitchen realm to the frigid wastes of the refrigerator freezer. There she met her most fearsome adversaries yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen breaded chicken. I have come from far reaches of the kitchen to battle you, O oh bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs. Bow before our child-pleasing shapes and flavors, Swordmaster. 
No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness. Scissors versus dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. Dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets win? What do you think? No, wait, no, they don't. Scissors is victorious again. Am I so good that not even dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets can beat me? And so scissors, like rock and paper, before her, traveled beyond her own kingdom, seeking out a challenge who was her equal. Then one day, in the great cavern of Two Call Garage, rock and scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, rock warrior. If by battle pants you mean no pants, but I'm willing to fight you, then yes. Yes, I'm wearing my battle pants, weird scissory one. Rock versus scissors. An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately, Rock is victorious. You have made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, scissors, for I've yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. Hi there. Hey, those are fighting words. Wait, what? Rock versus paper. This is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning, oh great knight of paper. That's fine for you, but it looks as though no one will ever beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? Scissors versus paper. You beat me! And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy, and they became fast friends. Finally, they'd each met their matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again. Round and round they went, in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said that this joyous struggle still rages on to this very day. That is why children around the world, in backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing rock, paper, scissors. And that is the end of that. If you enjoyed this story, check out other stories by Drew Daywalt. I hope you guys are well and safe, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.